Welcome to the Structuring Thought Channel, a path to successful thinking and analysis. We are facing certain problems in current education. We have angry people. We have lots of attempts at communicating either by talking face-to-face -face electronically, using multimedia, but in the end, how much accomplishment for real communication? It seems that the more we communicate lately, the more anger we have. And this doesn't really fit the ideals of education. We want to be able to teach, to allow better analysis, better communication, increased dialogue, all while having new discoveries to increase the overall knowledge and skills that are available to us. But our ideals have failed. Little doubt we're not living up to our ideals. We keep spending more and more money on education and hoping to get better results. But we're not. We're getting worse results. There's more anger and less thought. And this historic approach, when education fails, what do we do? We constantly focus on better teachers, on better teaching methods. Well, what happens is we end up spending mega dollars on novel systems. Somebody comes up with a new program, a new system on how to take information from the teacher and put it into the student's head. And it's getting worse. So what are the underlying assumptions we're dealing with here? The assumption is the teacher has knowledge and skills to impart. And this has been a constant critique over the last 50 years. The teacher, the sage on the stage, and has all this knowledge and needs to impart it. Right? So maybe the problem is we don't need to have the knowledge coming out of the teacher. Instead, we need to play Houdini and hide the knowledge, have the students discover what the trick is to having these knowledge and skills. But no matter what, we still have the teacher at the center. Is the problem the teacher at the center, or is it something else? This channel is all about challenging existing assumptions. Why are we constantly focused on the teacher and teaching methods? Have we really thought about, again, afresh, what do all lessons have in common? Well, the customary answer since John Dewey in the 1890s was the child is the center of all learning. So we need to focus on the child. Well, what successes and failures have we gotten out of that? Is there really a different answer that we could be pursuing? The purpose of this channel is to inquire into possible new assumptions. We know that all lessons come from within the student. What do we mean by that? The purpose of education is to implant knowledge and skills in students. But there's a major difference. The whole notion from John Dewey onward has been the teacher needs to plant the knowledge and skills the student needs to know for the future. The teacher needs to be a fortune teller, needs to be able to read a crystal ball to be able to see the future in a way that nobody else can and come up with just the right lesson to accomplish that. And our underlying purpose in all of this is to challenge that crystal ball fallacy. The notion of education can't be to know the future in some impossible manner. We have to deal with the fact that all knowledge and skills come from the past. We are history-based animals. We live in the present in expectation of the future, but we can only know what has passed. So with these kind of tools in mind, how do we change the process of how students grow? If we quit thinking we can know what the future holds for us, how does that change the educational process? And I suggest to you, it has massive impacts. We end up starting afresh by working outward from the student and assessing what teaching opportunities we can learn afresh. 
So we hope you enjoy the opportunities to address some of these things and to really challenge what the notion of education is. And we will go through on a later video and explain what different types of videos we'll be putting out, what different types of materials you should be expecting at structuringthought.com. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. We look forward to having you be a big part of our future. Thanks so much. Thank you.